Good morning, everybody. I'm back, ish, of sorts, and we're playing a new game. Played a bit of the Last Epoch. We like our ARPGs here in the Buxley Winds household, and <clears throat> I've been having a very good time with this one recently. So let's dive in. I'm towards the end game now. I think I don't know. I'm not sure. How white is my hand looking this morning? Looking very red in the face as well. There's been no sun, so it's definitely not that that's causing it. But the idea is at the moment in the game, I am chasing someone down because they've ran off with something that I need and I've got to go and kick their tits in, basically. Um, but it's an ARPG, so story is completely unnecessary, so we don't need to worry about that. All we're going to do is going to go kill some stuff and get some fat loot. I'm going to go that way. So this works very similar to Path of Exile's maps. Um, you, but it's got more of a progression. You're not running the same map on repeat to get to where you want to be. It's got much more of a uh, like a flow to it, and you do several quests along the way. Um, looks pretty good. And I got a pet crab. It's not very good, pet crab. Um, first of all, let's turn chat off. Let's turn off public, direct, and party chat because you guys don't want to see that. They talk about some inane bullshit in this game, and I'm all here for it. But. Uh... So, this character focuses on killing things with holy light. I am a paladin. Swing my sword around a bit. Um, although I think I've got an axe at the moment. Yes, I do. Um, and I charge into things. So, I have two main abilities. Uh, I am currently running holy light here. Holy aura. Uh, healing hands. So, whenever I hit with Rive, which is like an AoE ability that spins around me, um, I hit healing hands um, and using the skill tree for healing hands not only does it heal me it also hurts things around me so it's weird because healing hands is actually my main ability but i never actually manually cast it it's it's triggered by hitting things um and we've got this ability down here seraph blade which has turned it from a healing ability into a melee attack and as you can see there it scales with melee damage so i can channel i can get loads of melee damage and not have to worry about spell damage anymore Trying to bat. Um, you've seen them in pretty much every game. And one of the things I absolutely love about this game is the built-in filter system. You can build your own filters in-game. Or do what I did and steal someone else's online. But so far what I've played, I think I'm about maybe 12 hours in or so. I'm really, really enjoying it. Point to spend as well. If we clear out this area here, something else to show you. Just over here, this is the new mechanic they've added. This is Nemesis. So you can empower this up to three times and it gets beefier. And then at the end of it, you get all that fat loot. Can't go wrong. So next time I fight that nemesis, uh, I'll get the, those four items that were listed above it. And the idea what I'm going to do in this map, I've got to destroy both the Venom Spires. So, ooh. That's some good stuff on there. Possibly pull that apart. So there's a Venom Spire, let's get that killed. And I must remember when I leave this map to actually spend my point. I'm not sure how my audio balance is today, so if anybody notices that my mic's too quiet, I think I might have a case of either mic too quiet or music too loud, uh, or game audio, should I say, game audio too loud. But we shall find out. I'm going completely the opposite direction here, but I am having great fun just killing things. Down this way. Yes, come to me. Charge! Ah, 
Money, 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 money. So you can't see my cursor, but on the right side of the screen there's something that says bonus stability. So although you can just rush through and blast to kill all the mobs um, and just get to your objective and call it quits, if you kill like non-necessary enemies you'll get bonus stability and that gets you closer to completing the timeline. Um, we'll go through it. It's not massively complex, but I'm probably just doing a terrible job of explaining it. He didn't want to die. Cat going absolutely mental in the next room. Whoops, wrong button. Then throw myself face first into a wall. Healing effectiveness and physical damage. That's good. Open the portal. So we go through here. This is full of money. Um, it'll be full of whatever um, you see this here. Uh, the awards here are affix shards down at the bottom right there. Echo rewards. Um, so that little thing we've just opened there contains that. And then this is just contains bonus loot depending on, and according to my filter, none of it was any good, which is always promising. Uh, let's have a look, because we've got some things to fracture. I love being able to just press a button and move crafting materials. Right. So. We picked up a little one with healing effectiveness on it. I think we can use that to replace that one. How are our resistances looking? I got no physical resistance at the moment. Did have lots before. I had too much before. Do need to get rid of that ring though. It's it's as fun as it is, that's the one that gives me my little cramper. As fun as it is, it's just not very good. So let's have a look. I think I've got this one I'm using instead. That's got a little bit of physical resistance on it. Yeah. Let's get you in there. And so, best part of this game, the thing that makes this game completely unstoppable, is the crafted system. So you've got your affixes and your, your suffixes, prefixes, all that, um, as you'd expect from an ARPG. But you can get in and you can manually craft and improve them and pull them apart. So what we're going to do is, these ones that we've picked up, they're purple because normally the highest you can craft is a tier 5. So we see we've got t tier 3 over here on the lightning damage but below it the melee damage is tier 6 so that's really good so we want to pull that off um, hopefully when I shatter we've got 6 melee damage shards that's what we want now we can use those to improve our other pieces of equipment however I wasn't high enough level to improve this axe any higher before uh, but it'll let me know no I'm not 70 what do we need one more level we are currently the nice level Can't go wrong with the mouthful of that. Okay, okay. So we're just going to keep pulling these off here. Because we're going to use them elsewhere on better equipment. Uh, we're not too bothered about that one. That one can sell. Do want those resistances though. We definitely want the combined health, the hybrid health of them. Yes. And you, you can buy that off me. And I want your shattery runes. And you go into my idle stash. Yeah, we do need to shore up those resistances a little bit. We're well over on Necrotic at the moment. We've got 161% Necrotic resistance. Okay, so the idea is here. Um, we've got all these different echoes. Where by completing these, uh, we get timeline stability, which is the bar at the top of the screen you can see here. And then once we manage to get this bar all the way up to the right hand side, hang on a minute, I need to turn my cursor capture on. Uh, 
to do this. Where is it gone? Oh, I'm going to mention because I'm trying to <laughs> the wrong thing. Properties. Capture cursor. There we go. And hopefully my... Yes, there we go. I can point at things. I can point at things. Right. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to work our way through. We're currently here. As you can see, we've made our way over from here. And as we make our way through, we will get more and more of this timeline stability. Once we get our timeline stability up to here at 300 stability, we'll be able to complete this timeline. Once we complete the timeline, we uh, unlock a cool little way to uh, upgrade our character even further and we can go on to the next timeline. So we're basically doing wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff and putting things back in the right place. But as it stands, let's go do this one because that'll let us see where all the shinies are. So we complete this one, we can charge the beacon and then that'll reveal all of the the nearby um echoes and we can basically pick which ones we want to get to so let's do that oh let's spend that point paladin because we want to ramp up reverence of duality get that up to 12. 2% damage, health, everything. You name it. It's good stuff. I felt sorry for that guy. He was going to give me a high five. You coming back? Aha! It's a trap. They make sad noises when they die. Fight the dude over here. Let's go do the thing. First of all, gotta stay inside the circle. Kill all the stuff that spawns. All this horrible voidy stuff. I'm surprised with like my zero uh, physical resistance that I'm not getting more and more more. Mind you, from what I can tell, this build is very, very tanky. Ooh. We like the looks of that mountain shield. Let's have a, I'll have a look at that in a minute. There we go. The beacon is lit. Gondor calls for aid. So I think we need to work our way back on ourselves to get round to that. We'll find out in a minute. Zoom. Zoom. I swear down if this is a dead end. I'm going to be mildly perturbed. Hello. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it for the shards we can pull from it. Right, so here we can see we're going to get that ring, that axe, that helmet, and that belt. I mean, I'm not chasing any of them, really. Um, that axe would be really cool if that wasn't cold damage. Um, but we do like that ignite hit, so what we can do is we're going to try 
But mind you, it's got it's got two two improved ones on it, and that room's really good as well. Right, let's 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 go. Let's see what we get. So they've just added this new mechanic to the game. You can see, however, so often no, nah, it still died too quickly for me to show you. Um, enemies get energy shield now um, when you're killing them super quick. Um, and people are really upset about it, even though it's the same mechanic that they were using before, but now it's visible instead of not. Right. So, is that going to be a massive upgrade over that? I don't think it is. You know, let's have a look. We're currently set at two three three two or one seven five. Is that just because of the massive, massive cold damage we're adding? It must be. Forty eight melee damage. Forty eight. It's got an open prefix or suffix. Right. Let's get it in there anyway. We can add an affix onto it. So let's give it uh, critical strike chance. We can use a rune here so that we use less of this forging potential on it. There we go. Now it's it's got another fifty-two percent increased critical strike chance. So looking at crit now, we're at thirty-three. Oh, we're at 28. Yeah, oh yeah, it's much better. Tons better. Should be melting faces now. And where's that ring with all the elemental resistance on it? What can we do to this one? Apart from throw it on the floor. There's a few I'd like to get rid of here, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a rune of removal, and hopefully we'll remove one that we don't want. If it gets rid of elemental resistance, then we're going to be very unhappy. That's the one we don't want to lose. Right, we're good. We didn't lose the one we didn't want to lose. I'm going to take another one off though. So we've got the tier 7 elemental resistance and the minion health. Minion health, sadly, not great. But we've got the critical strike avoidance and a good chunk of elemental resistance on this ring. So now we can put some good stuff on it. So what we want is increased healing effectiveness. Is that although that makes our healing hands heal more, and it also makes it deal more damage. Yo, pimp that up a little bit. And we got another plus one on minion health here, which is a shame. It's a bit of a wasted affix, but hey, can't go wrong. And then on the suffix side, have we got health percentage? Or hybrid health? We've only got one forging potential left, so that means we can only add one more upgrade to it. But it's pretty good, apart from that. I wonder if there's a way to actually increase it. So this forging potential, potential is what you spend to improve your equipment. Um, so you can only get so many goes at improving it, so to speak. What else is on this that we need to worry about? Necrotic and lightning resistance. So we're well over on the crack resistance. But the lightning resistance we don't need to worry about so much. Um, let's stick some flat health on there. There we go. So it adds 9 health. But that's a pretty decent ring. I can't grumble at that. You know, it's got... It's got 1% less healing effectiveness, but way, way, way more resistances and some critical strike avoidance as well. So that gets us a little bit more reasonable with our fire and lightning, physical, necrotic. And we're nearly capped out on lightning as well, so that covers our elemental resistances. For the most part, don't grumble. And my phone's making noises at me. Nothing interesting. Right, anyway, where were we? We were murderizing things. So now we've done that, we could leave now, but what I do want to do is hang about a little bit just to get some more bonus stability over here, and you get that just from killing things. Although it's pretty well spaced out in here, I'm not gonna lie.
Don't try! Give me all your shinies. Don't sell any things. First chatter of the day, and it's a bot. Story of my life. So now we can see all the way around and we can see things that we want to get to, like that over there, because that's got unique items. So we'll fight our way through the sinking city. Oh no. So that's what we're talking about. So we've unlocked the next level in the quest line here. In this timeline, the Immortal Empire, basically, definitely not like Necrons at all. No, not like Toon King Necrons, no. Uh, advances into the north to recruit the Wengari to their efforts. The two Wengari clans are split, one side falling in with the Empire and the other resisting. I imagine we have to pick a side again. Although, last one, I think I picked the wrong one. I'm not sure. It did say something about it being level 80, which would be 11 levels higher than I am currently, which would be very interesting. Most use phylactery. How oh, big is this guy? If that's the size of his phylactery, I thought they were supposed to be subtle things. So, yeah, this is a nice tanky character. I can just stand in all the crap with this one most of the time. My other character I started the other day, not so much. <laughs> they have a bad time with their, that kind of thing. one of the Wingari totems. So we need three more of those. Need to kill two more patrols and save the crap villagers. My character keeps saying stand down or die, but I've never let him see anyone, never seen him actually let anyone live. He's very paladin, very, very paladin. Hey, yeah. What's on that scepter? Oh, Mona's world.
Don't worry, I'll save you. It's a bit weird that even the guys who are on my side up here, they have red health bars as well. So it keeps throwing me a little bit. And we've just got the villagers to save now. You are rescued! What's in the box? What's in the box? Nothing. The square root of fuck all is in the box. But we are going this way. Let's clean out first. That can go now. It's been been nice. Such a good shield. Massive block effectiveness. Get those resistances up. That's going to be unreal. Block chance of 35 with a 41% block. It's a no brainer in it, an extra 3%. I mean, and we're losing 2%. Healing effectiveness and a little bit of fire and cold resistance, but I think we were capped over. It's all gravy, baby. Look at it. But yeah, so nice one. Thank you, game. What's this say? I've not seen that before. Physical damage, healing effectiveness, dodge rating. Well, dodge rating is no good to me, so I can go in the bin. Get that volatile reversal. Yeah. I'm going to put that in there. Hmm. To be fiddled with later on. What's this belt do? Serpent strike. Whatever. We'll put it in the, the big box. Oh, uniques. You know what makes this game infinitely better than any other game I've played in this genre? It's got a sort button. That's it. You can sort you can sort your inventories. You can go down here. But we later on. Yes. I would like these, please. Because I'm getting through them at the moment. What we really want is some of those, the glyphs that allow us to uh, uh, upgrade items without paying for it. Fuck it, out my brain. Nope. We soldier on. Buffs going. Hello there. This really is just a big ass desert. Oh, it's one of the waves of enemy and the little waves ones. You like these ones, you don't have to do much, you just stand around and hit things. He's just decided he wants to try and take off into the distance. La 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 la. Stand down. 
down or die. Down or die. Level seventy. Means we can uh, improve our equipment a little bit more. Well, that was good fun, wasn't it? All the shards. Storm tide. Why would we? I imagine there's some cool meme image going on with that. Yay, 12 of 12. Look at that. 24% increased health, damage, healing effectiveness, and mana. Does that mean that when I... Yeah, I can cast four of my sigils without having to worry about it too much. Yes. <laughs> Take care. I imagine there'll be a point where I'll stop buying those. But as it stands, I'm getting through them at quite a rate. Well, one of these needed a little bit more forging. What was it? We needed level 74. The shield. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Wonder if we seal it. If we seal it effectively, we can take one of these two suffixes and affixes and move them into its own little slot, which gives us room to add another one on. But I think we'd want to upgrade first before we did that. So let's have a look. We'll, we'll leave it for now. Um, we'll wait until we've got some more of the uh, glyphs that let us do that without using the forging potential. Making our way towards those unique items. These things with like the deadly flashlight that I've just killed there, they are the first thing in this game that killed me. I wasn't expecting the laser beam of death, to be honest. You think?
What have we got this time round? That's good. That's meh. That's a two-hander. Sodic will empower anyway. So empowering them means you get to fight them and they'll drop some of these uh, shards. Um, and the items will be better next time you encounter them. So it all works out well. It's the boss. It was the boss. Shiny, shiny, shiny gold, shiny gold. Was a bit depressing. Well, that's made up for it. We got a rune of ascendance. We believe that runes of ascendance are the ones that yeah. So you can turn a normal item into a unique item with them, which is always good. Data. 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 Reduce crit damage is always good. Glorious. It's time to go and get that unique. This place looks pretty cool. I think it needs just rather than drop them. Oh, the slows. This map's wild. Wow. Here game, let me pick up loot. There we go. That was funky. Don't know what caused that. That was fairly easy. I was wondering why those mobs were taking so long to kill it. Turns out that they were the ambush. So many things to kill. Some idols. Stop throwing things at me. Thank you. Obviously, don't know who I am. I've just realised all my skills are waiting to level up. All of them. Open 
pull and get out. So another prismatic gaze, not what I'm looking for. That is not what I am looking for, game. You give me a run thing. What was that amulet we picked up there? Potion health converted to ward. You have no health leech, you have no health regen. 29% more. Not for this build, but it could be fun. for the one that will take 5% of my health and give me 5% ward. That's what we need, precious. I've never seen block chance and block effectiveness on a ring. We're not up there. I'm going to take a little break there. Be back soon where we shall. Hopefully, with the next one. Yeah. Unlock the final quest echo. Catch you soon.
Oh, hi there! I miss you so much. Look what I've seen in my little break. Look, look, look. <gasps> More uniques. Go that way! I think the cat just broke something. Did you just break something? You're looking at me like, no. <laughs> Shot. We like shards, they bring us happiness. What is it, cat? Come here. Lottie. Hey. You can't hear her because of the noise cancellation, but the cat's talking to me from the next room. Kind of psychotic. Will have found something to rub herself on, probably. Weirdo cat. So much stuff to kill. So much stuff to kill. Another harbinger. Yeah. Empower! Just because I want your shards. <laughs> oh, they die quick. Can have some of that. So we can do the last one, but we do want to go and get this first. A diet to cook. That is the good stuff. We got Harbinger coming up as well. I'll be a good fight. Let's get all my buffies going. Oh yeah, this build's really coming into its own now, like. I still haven't upgraded my skills. Still. 
I'll have some of that. That's bracken for a rogue. I think my next build might be sorted. Looks like a ballista build. Build. The critical strike multiplier and blind on hit. We like. We like a lot. I didn't explain it before, but these things here, the rune prisons, they contain things that drop experimental mods. And there's an exper experimental mod I'm hunting for that gives me, that makes me lose life, but gain effectively shield. And it can make this build go absolutely mental. So that, that's ward, sadly. What's this? Sounds like experimental apples. Oh, ooh. Okay, that's good. So you can have four normal mods and seal the experimental affects on something. Like, already I can see some crazy potential in this game. On Sulla. Throw fire at me. I shall strike you in the face. Ha <laughs> ha! Get thee all the way to fuck. Right. Open the portal. Get the unique item. Check the loot. Helmet. It's a shield. Close call. Oh, it's a dodgy one. Got some legendary potential though, we like that. Okay, let's upgrade our skills whilst we're here. Uh, we want... Adrenaline. Percent. Increase critical strike. That can give us a 100% increased crit. Holy aura. I'm not really digging the flame burst, to be honest. Let's put some more planks and burning blows. Bigger up front healing there. Oh yeah, we like block chance. And the zoom zoom needs more zoom zoom. Frailty. Right, we finally did the thing. Let's do the lair of Formosus. Time for a boss. Need to descend in the heart of Formosus' lair and rescue the living Venga. By the looks of the floor, not many of them are left living. Why are you oh, you look cool. What mechanics does this boss have then? He's disappeared. And there's frost on the floor. Punch him in the face for Well, we can roll again. Now that I don't have my crab anymore. I must remember that.
find him, put him back. Give myself some buffs. Where's he gone? He's Your interference ends now. Chop chop! Just if you could just move out of the way, that'd be great. Oh, that hurts. Not that I really feel it when I'm hitting things. Right, like, you guys are pissing me off. I can feel my blood begin to freeze. It's not particularly pleasant. Oh, and So now we get one of these free blessings. That purple ring around the outside um, shows how good it is, how high you are, um, and yeah, none of it particularly good. Other than the one-handed sword, they're all pretty crap anyway, so yeah, we'll go with that one. Boots were good though. Another key to the Soul Power Bastion. Last Steps of the Living. So that current health loss per second and missing health gain does ward per second. That's what I need. They are quite zoomy, those boots. Friendly wearing. They're really good. I'm enjoying that chill though. Yeah, it's. Whereas it's cool, it's not for this build. We could definitely even start a rogue though at some point soon. 100%. Especially with that bow. Right. Okay, so that is Blood, Frost, and Death complete. Now we need to go and do Ending the Storm. We want glyphs. We desperately need glyphs, so we're going to go this way. Everything's five levels higher than me here. This could be interesting. Big res will go down pretty quick, so I'm not too concerned. I think a Ballista Broke build might be uh, on the cards. Mm. 
manually having to sort things is unacceptable. Uh, we need another tab. You can't throw away uniques. That's wrong. Well, definitely broke it. that this season. What did I do with that item that had ward on it? Did I throw it on the floor? Give me glyphs. Give me glyphs, give me glyphs, give me, give me, give me glyphs. I want to upgrade my shield. <laughs> Big shiny loot chest. Give me the things. Yeah. We shall pull that apart for shards. Red armor's good. Okay, doggo. Rock around bush. Or anything nearby on these? Not very dense though, so we're going to move on. That's what we wanted, Glyphs of Hope. So now we can forge the shield. Lives of Hope. Need 73 to push it any higher. I wonder if we hit that with the ceiling one. Where has it gone? Was it here? Is it a glyph? Uh, has a chance to seal it instead of. Oh, so you actually select which one it is.
If we select that one with that, we can seal the physical resistance instead of upgrading it. That's cool. We'll try that out on level 73. We will have a look at that. It's a shame that's such an awkward shaped one because we quite like to get that in there, but the ones I've got are really, really awesome. What is our shred chance at the moment, anyway? Shred, shred, shred. I can't even find it. We're not shown on here. Why it can Weird. Yeah, I can't find it. Yeah, well. What we got over here? Relics over here. Money. Graphic shards. Nothing jumping out at me, so let's just work away. actually hurting me. Tell you what, we won't be hanging around here too long. These mobs are a pain in the ass. Level 71! Move speed and fire damage, yes, please. Stand down or die. Arbinger. That's some decent loot from it. Give me that helmet of the mountain. Well, a rogue relic. This one's rogue skills. It's telling us we should have gone rogue. This game is tough to strip, telling us we should have gone rogue. Cool looking axe. We're going to do it just for the rogue relic. Just going to do it. <laughs> it's all a road loop! <laughs> Who would have thought I had like a road filter on my side, but I promise I don't. I didn't even check to see what's happening in this timeline, what we're supposed to be doing.
this way. Monkey choice. Flashbacks to POE there, mobs that explode on the floor. Research. Those are not the bits we wanted. Boo! These are not the bits you're looking for. Fiery sky, doggo! It says that they're griffins, but they're 100% sky damage. Great armor. A lot of health on it. The other one. One down. <laughs> Accidentally double charged then. Whoopsies. I've got the spires right on top of the body as well. Can I help you? There we go. We are out of here. Penetration's nice. Just seems better all round. How so, much? I tell you, six health and one percent poison in that one.
don't need the elemental resistance, but that's a huge amount of health. Nearly a hundred health and more useful resistances. And more damage for Holy Aura. Because I do believe attunement stacks with that. No, it's healing hands that stacks with it. Yes. Some of your shadow jobbies. I've done this map before, I made a mistake standing in the middle, don't stand in the middle, it hurts, look. Oh right, it must have just been when that one mob spawned it hurt. Everything burst into play. Oh yeah, like that. Yeah, it really hurts. Stand down or die. Grabs. Back. That's well, no good if you're going to hide in the owies. I've only done two dungeons so far, they were really good fun, but... that one because there's like no boss it's just loads of little guys mm -hmm. 
It's a bit moist. Slow, it's really, really insane. Hello, cat. Hey, hey, what's up? What do you want? No. In this time, Lagon is attacked by Rhea's forces and driven to unleash a storm on the coast to destroy his enemies, but also his own people in the process. Save survivors in a flooded, maruna-infested Thetaba. Mm. Good times for everyone involved. Oh, God, stretch out. Oh, it's like a stage four stretch. Sometimes there is a cat. You must stroke it. Is that good? She's doing like little Yoda ears now. Gods be with you. No safe people. Gotcha. Free.
Oh, you can also be free. You over here. I also bring you forced freedom. Could maybe do like a little animation for when the bad guys appear at those at these bits because it does just look like they appear out of thin air at the moment. Done. You're gonna go sit on your chair now, yeah? Right? Or do you have a cat so spoiled they have to buy its own gaming chair so we can sit next to you and be annoying? Was a big bird. Stand down or die. Stand down or die. One thing I need. I'm gonna wake him back. Yep. on it. What about? Just absolutely vomiting cool gear at this moment. I just realised that I've completely forgotten the entire mechanic. Yeah. Completely forgotten the entire mechanic. I'm not going the wrong way. I've turned around and started going the opposite direction. Nice idol. Chop, 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 chop.
Ah, I dodged the butt. It's the guy! The one we gotta kill! Oh, we did it! Lots of idols on that one. An awful lot. Materials. Let's have a look through these. Don't want that. Don't want that. That's pretty cool. That's a sick looking axe. Let's rip it apart. That's pretty cool. The idols in the idol box. Oh, nearly shot it. Seventy three. Seventy three before we can make that even better. Such a nice shield. How much is my block blocking now? Forty eight per cent. So I wonder if you block before damage comes in. So armor reduces physical damage, not physical damage, all hits. It doesn't say which order they're applied in. So we're either taking 48% of 65% of the hit, or 30 or 65% of 48% of the hit when we block, or 52%. I don't think. Me. We block 38% chance, 38% of the time. I do want to find.
find it. Cannot find it. Find a way into Lagon's temple in the aftermath of the failed Osprex invasion of Lagon's Isle. Ooh. So I assume we're going to bitch slap Lagon for being a horrible person. Level 72! Bang in! Another 8% across those. I've got to find 6 Moon Fragments. There was only 2 when I did it in campaign. Actually, pick anything up, though. But okay. Must be one of those auto pick up when you get near things. Horseshoe crabs, deadly little bastards, come to stab you with a stabby thing. Oh, 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 oh. Just pick up off the floor. They don't even have an iPod or anything. Just slightly orange glowy bit. I was just seeing how much he burned for. I wasn't being uh, weird. We've got to go all the way back there, and What are the he feet on? Hmm. <laughs> voice is going. Take that, you lightning shooting bastards! Stand down or die. Build plenty of stuff in this map. Excuse me, Mr. Bridge. Get I hope we can get to that via this pathway here, otherwise I'm gonna be one there.
It is too late. Lagon has been enraged by these attacks. There is no stopping him. I beg of you, leave before I have to remove you myself. You're wrong. I can still stop Lagon. You're doubting me? Now you cannot. I've already failed. I couldn't stop Lagon's rage. Couldn't protect his people. Don't rub failure in my face by trying to salvage it. It's just cruel. If you insist on standing in my way, I'll do what I must. I assure you, my punishment is coming. But not from you. Fate belongs to the Lord of Storms, just like it always has. I'll ready myself to fight. Oh, okay then. Hello, Leaf, my old friend. Going to punch you in the face again. Where have you gone? Come back here. has been conquered. Lagan is unpredictable. I was trying to protect everyone. Is that why you tried to kill me? Trying to protect everyone my arsehole. Give me fat loot. But it's not got the healing hands on it. Oh, I'll stick with what I've got. We shall pull it apart and use it to improve things. In the hole. In the hole. In the hole. In the hole. You, sir! I'll keep hold of that one for just in case. Because that normally might be good. Take care. I need to go through and sort this shit out at some point. Right, we're gonna go get some gold on the next one. I'm gonna take a quick break. Recalibrate my lungs, I'll be back in five.
Well, hello there. I'm back. Did you miss me? Cats still follow me everywhere. Ooh, that's a fiery thing. crap so many big crabs Uh, 
the key to light this up. I might have to go do some mod engines at some point. I like that ignite at high health. Although this will eventually move to a low life build, so might not be good. Come on, this is what we need, this is what we need. Give me the thing, give me the thing, give me the thing. Nope, that's not what we needed. Neither is that. Boom! So many mobs. Get back here. Aha, I get smacked. Done here. Good job I looked at that before I shot it. <laughs> just nearly threw away my shield. Yeah, because I got a lot of keys now. Well, a fair few keys. And keys are what you need to do dungeons. What's this? Unique all set gloves. Let's go that way. <sighs> so we are looking for now. something that converts the damage over time. Sorry, converts physical damage into damage over time. So we're not getting a long shot. It ends here. Stand down or die. Oh, that's cool. Not as cool as what we've got. But looks pretty cool. Give me all your shards. Punch the flies in the face. I wonder where the thing was shooting me from behind. Oh, there's another shrine. That'd be a good one, since I'm going on my way for it. Three hundred percent damage reflection. Stand down or die. Did I go past it? Oh, it's up there, for crying out loud. We walked away. 
Let's go find them. Um, hello there. That was a big explosion. Use the roll. Roost. Minions of falconry with legendary potential. I know that falcons are a very strong build in this game. Yeah, what a cool little sword. Yeah, we like that. Oh, that attack speed is delicious. Want to change that for something else, really? Don't want bleed. We want attack speed. Stay a while and listen. listen. Oh, a new follower. Anila Prifty, thank you for the follow. I thought, I, I recognise that noise. That's one of mine. <laughs> Fire penetration is pretty peak. I'm not going to lie. In fact, I think that's really freaking good. I'm not going to lie. You need level 74 to get that one up. I think we might try and seal it. I actually think that's the chase for that for that socket. Yeah, fire penetration, armor shred chance. But we'll take that ignite. Yeah, I'm not gonna grumble at that at all. That's a tasty little axe, that one.
Thanks for the kind words, uh, Nadila. That's really, really good of you to say. Let's get some glyphs. Cool shit. Dying to the good stuff. Oh, my Chinese. That rogue relic would weave as well. That's going to be awesome. Look at the resistance is on that. That is disgusting. Absolutely insane. This caps two resistances by itself. We had some stuff drop. That's awesome as well. We'll have a bit of that. We'll definitely have a bit of that. Might be swapping out for that one actually. I mean, we do lose the sigils, sigils of hope, but other than that this with a little bit of TLC. Oh, I could nearly get it up to tier 5, but we like that. Slightly less on the healing on that re-rolls. I think we're going to swap over to that. Slightly lower and we lose that point in the Sigils of Hope. Why is it taken from the Sigils of Hope though? It's okay. But yeah, that's a nice fat chunk of health. Caps us on physical resistance. So we're nearly capped, apart from poison. Poison's pretty gross, but... Um, and that heal effectiveness and physical damage is going to do, yeah, work with the sword. We like, we approve. First of all, let's get these new items in the stash. That's pretty disgusting.
Damage damage is so low. I mean, what is this? What, 30, 9, 40, 8? Yeah, 40, so. With no crit. Just got lightning penetration on it. That's pretty disgusting. You could do. We, we, we could do work with that axe later on. Let's, uh, let's put it in there to look at later on, stash tab. This, however, is getting ripped apart. You know what, even though it's got all that on it, we're going to take the resistance shards instead. What we are now, you can't see because my fat head's in the way, but we sit out unbuffed. Or buffed, should I say. Need to hit some stuff, but we are sitting around 40% crit. And 200% multiplier. 620% healing. Yeah, we're in for a good time. Last one. Let's go do Eye of the Storm. Let's fight the boss. Finish this one off. I'm gonna go see Lagod and be like, yo, dog. What's your tentacly ass doing? It's such a good fight first time round. We died! We managed to die! It's the first time I've died. You know it's weird when you're actually excited that you died, right? Right, so we might actually have to, you know, like, dodge out the way of shit. I beam is bad. I beam bad. Laser bad. Pull the tentacles. Yeah, this build has been pretty unstoppable, so I was quite surprised. Actually, take meaningful damage. Have I killed any tentacles now? Nope. How about now? Wow. Slap with the stun. Just seen as well that it uh, doesn't. Uh, no. Oh, come on, game. Holding lightning. That's with them capped as well. Them dark souls. Hmm. 
I do not then? Am I rolling through it? Is it going to let me roll through it? Move out of the way, keep his head out of my way. A little bit more. Oh, it's when the eye goes nasty, Glowy Red. For the Crabston, we can handle that we want to get out of the way of. Jesus, so you can't even roll through it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm die, 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 What shield is it? Pearl Aegis. Lightning resistance. Shock. Shocking things. All the shocks. What does shock actually do? Shock reduces lightning resistance by 5%, increases chance to be stunned, and can stack up to 10 times. That was pretty cool then. But yeah, that was a bit more of a serious fight compared to what we've had. So I'm not going to grumble. I don't think you're supposed to be able to teleport to the next one. Every time I do that, it uh, gets funky about it. We're definitely progressing through them faster than I think it's expecting us to do, because we're currently level 73. And the quest is wanting us to do is level 80 or 85. So I wonder if it's wanting us to go back and like rerun some of the timelines we've already done. I mean, the, the mobs themselves aren't too much of an issue, but look, if the next boss is as one-shotty as Lagon just was, then it could be an issue. 
Oh. Maybe. But either way, I'm going to come off now. I'm going to grab some lunch. I've got some other bits I need to do today. Thank you for tuning in. I will catch you once more. Fairly well.